We are living in a spiritual battle. It's a war. It's an invisible spiritual realm. We may not want to be there, but we're put right in the middle of it. How do we win? How do we be victorious through this all? Today, we're going to discover how. Stay with us. All right, and welcome to this week's edition of Living Hope Today. So glad to have you, and especially all of our many new viewers and our regular viewers, too, who watch week after week. We've enjoyed hearing from many of you folks, uh, letting us know that you're watching, uh, whether it's our Facebook uh, page or our YouTube channel, and we're even hearing people from on Twitter, our Twitter account. So I appreciate hearing from you and, and the people that are watching. In fact, we got we have people that have been watching in the in the Philippines and France and Canada, Great Britain, uh, uh, the Bahamas. Uh, it's just United, of course, the United States and and uh, uh, right here in North America. It's wonderful to hear from so many different people that are watching, and we want to hear from you. If you're out there and you're watching our broadcast for the first time, I hope that you'll just stay tuned, that you'll follow us on uh, right here on our Facebook page. You can hit the like button and uh, hit the follow at the top of the page, and uh, that way you can follow us and you'll know when we're on. Same way with YouTube. You can like the channel, hit the uh, uh, subscribe, and then be sure you click on the bell. That will let you be notified when our broadcasts are going to be on the air, and you can watch that at any time. But we do want to hear from you, just regardless of where you're watching from or how you're enjoying our program. Take a look at this. Here's our Connect page. You can write us there at our email address at uh, aictv.org at gmail.com, or you may write us by letter. Send a letter to us to our post office box here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. That's our home uh, place. So we hope that you'll plan to join us and uh, by writing us and letting us know that you're out there. We'd love to hear from you. All right. This week, as I mentioned a little while ago, we are talking about on the theme, war in the spiritual realm. Now, people say, wonder, what are you talking about? What are you discussing? Well, we are in a battle. If you're a believer in Christ, you are especially in that battle. I have uh, been in the ministry for a long time now, and I tell you, one of the things that has probably been the most difficult has been what Satan tends to throw against us and up against us. He's always trying something to discourage, something to hurt, something that isn't good. In fact, uh, one of the news that we just got uh, just recently, well, they've been talking about it for a while, and we haven't mentioned it. I mentioned This is the first time I've actually mentioned our, our program. There's a uh, negotiations on management for this building where we are in our studio here, and I love our studio. Uh, we may be losing it. I don't know. We're going to find out that it may, not, it may go quickly if it happens, but we will be doing something else differently and not having this beautiful space that we have here uh, that I love so much, and I, I, we will lose it possibly. Uh, but we're just trusting the Lord for whatever he may have for us, and we are going to believe him for it. But the devil is always trying to discourage. That can be a discouraging thing. And uh, he goes after us. There's an evil influence in this world, and especially now in the days that we live. Satan knows his time is short. He doesn't know when the Lord's coming again. He has no idea, but he does know the Bible very well, probably better than you and I do. And he knows that Jesus coming in the rapture for us is soon. And he knows we will be taken out of this world and home with Jesus. Well, because of that, he is working overtime on the hearts and minds of everyone, and especially the believer. So today we're going to talk about that. How do we prepare to do battle against him. And we are going to see it in 2023 like we've never seen. I mean, we're already in the middle month, the middle of February. And here we are, we're talking about we still have 
uh, uh, months to go towards till for this year. And it's so important that we keep our minds stayed on Christ. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I hope you'll stay with us. Invite somebody to tune in and watch. But before we get going any further, let's listen to uh, a song by a great uh, singer. He's a Cinnaboyne Indian from Whip in Poplar, Montana. I've always enjoyed him. He's a good friend of our families. Known him for a long time and his family for a long time. I want you to listen to Jay Cummins as he sings a song that he wrote that's simply called Fire and Rain. Listen to it and we'll be right back with our message for this week. Hope you enjoyed that great song sung to us by our good friend Jay Cummins. I hope you enjoyed his wonderful music. Well, as we mentioned today, our topic is war in the spiritual realm. Uh, you know, it's n- it is something that a lot of people say: Is it fun and games to believe this way, or is evil influence for real? Well, I can tell you, it is for real. 
Uh, you may have not experienced maybe some of the things I've experienced. I don't know, maybe you have, but I've been on many reservations where we felt uh, Satan's power in those areas. I, I can tell you uh, for sure that Satan and his power on some of these reservations where we went was very real, very real. And uh, you could just feel it. You know, uh, as followers of Christ, we sense the power of influence on our lives because of Satan. He is constantly after us. He's like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. He's going to devour uh, especially the Christian. He's after them. He wants you to fall. He wants you to lose. He doesn't want you going to heaven. So he is going to come at you. And the, many of you may have uh, realized that and are saying, yes, I, I have had that. I have had attacks. The devil is very real. And we recognize the battle in the spirit realm. It's all around us. Satan is here. He is here. He is real. And he is fighting us. It's a recognized battle. At the least, it is between good and evil. And God and Satan. And even now, uh, as we get ready uh, towards these end days before the Lord comes. The angels and the demons are even doing battle. They're doing battle. It's constant. It's going around us in the heavenlies all the time. There is a battle going on. And what is the invisible spirit realm, and how would a seemingly innocent be of danger to this? How are we uh, really in danger of this. Well, first we need to understand what the spirit realm is when we talk about this. War in the spiritual realm. Well, to understand the dangers is to know there is a battle going on between God and his angels and Satan and his demons for the souls of men. That is serious. He is after. There is going to be a uh, decision made on that. Demons are basically fallen angels who rebelled against God and were cast out of heaven. So their powers are very strong. But they are not as strong as God and his angels. Humans were basically created in the image of God and have a soul and a spirit that is destined for all eternity. Even though the spiritual realm is invisible to the eye, we can't see it maybe, we are connected to it. And what goes on in the spiritual realm directly affects us and our physical world. We can physically sense this battle going on. You know, the Bible tells of many encounters and experiences of the demonic spirit world and how they are waging war against us, against you, me, the church. You know, even Jesus himself experienced that. He was tempted by Satan. Yes, the battle for the soul and the heart of man is a spiritual battle of great magnitude. It cannot be something that we take lightly. Uh, there's fear that the Satan tries to bring. There is suicide is so rampant, especially among our native people. Sickness and sin, these are just part of the tactics that Satan uses. His most powerful weapon, and battleground zero, I believe, is the mind. It's the mind. It has enemy strongholds. It is the place where he has the most influence as the enemy stronghold is the mind. Satan has long used it to influence to his advantage. And what are our, our weapons against that? Well, uh, Scripture clearly tells us how to be ready to uh, wage battle and defend and have victory. I want you to uh, look at this. This is, uh, this is in Ephesians 
uh, 6, 10 through 13. This is a very uh, popular verse because it talks about how we must prepare to go to battle. And I want you to read this with me. Let's read for, uh, uh, 10 and 13 of this verse. It says here, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand, you take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil and the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand. That, my friend, is our answer. That is how we defend against Satan and his forces. That's how we win. Uh, the battle. You know, every every warrior that goes into uh, war, uh, starting with our native people, they, they had the shield, they had the spear, they had the bows and arrows, they had weapons to defend themselves when they became against their enemies. The same way it is today in modern warfare. We have our weapons, the soldier, Where's his helmet? He'll wear uh, battle gear. Uh, he, he's ready for the battle. This verse I just read to you is exactly what we must do to prepare for the battle against Satan. You know, I think one of the worst things that uh, is really difficult to understand, but uh, Christians face this every year. And I think that's the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, little gathering of Halloween. You know, Halloween is a perfect example. They talk of death. They talk of fear, of darkness. They try to scare our children. He uses this to his advantage, to his advantage, for some without realizing, especially the young. They don't realize what this is really all about. I know my little granddaughter, she saw so many things <clears throat> at the stores with the, the scary thing, and she was bothered by it. She saw them in the grocery stores, the 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 evil figures that they had setting up and so on. She didn't understand it. This is her first year. She's three years old. So this was her first year to really truly understand what what Halloween or what it seemed like it was projecting here. That's the way it is. The devil is using that holiday, that time, Halloween, to his advantage. But God gives us power to overcome these fiery dice. Satan throws at us. As we read in 1 Timothy uh, 1 7. I wanted to go to another verse, though, uh, first before we get into that, it, that we talk about the mind and how important it is. In fact, go to 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. 2 Corinthians 10, through 5, 3 to 5. And this is what it says For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. See what I was talking about. On the contrary, they have divine powers to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient. See, that's what I'm talking about. Having, having our, our selves gird, girded in the uh, armor of God what he wants us to wear, what we need to do, how we overcome this uh, in this situation. In 1 Timothy 1.7, that's where I wanted to go, uh, we read this. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. You know, God doesn't delight in darkness. He is a person of light. And Jesus said in John 8.12, it says here, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Yes, we are in a spiritual battle. The spiritual realm is for real. But praise be to God, 
as followers of Christ because we have the power to be victorious, to win, to be uh, uh, victorious in Christ and have superiority over the devil and his demons. No matter what we face in this world that we are living in right now, I'll tell you, I have never seen it as bad as I have uh, this last couple years than any time I've ever seen. In fact, I was telling a person the other day, a friend of mine, we were talking about this. We were saying just how evil the world is. And it starts <clears throat> from uh, what's going on in our country, the, the, the lawlessness, and I mentioned a couple weeks ago, the lawlessness is just beyond belief. Uh, people murdering uh, children. We, just, we had one here not too long ago here in Oklahoma uh, a couple weeks back where a young three-year-old girl was beat to death by a caretaker. And, uh, you know, it, it's unexplainable. Unexplainable why that happens, except for that we know that it is Satan. It's his power. He's leading the way. He's trying to do it. So I tell you, don't let Satan steal your joy and allow him to attack you. No, fight back. Fight back by knowing God's word. By knowing God's word and keeping it in your heart, keeping it in your mind, you are really pushing the devil back a long ways because the devil wants your mind. He wants to trigger you to keep your mind off Christ and keep your mind on worldly things, on the things that he wants. He gets you away from that. And you need to be sure that you put on the whole armor of God and be ready, not just during the hollow of the queen season, but all the time. And like I said, I believe 2023 is going to be probably the most difficult, one of the most difficult years uh, our, our people have ever faced, the world has ever faced. I think there's going to be a lot of things that are going to happen that's going to test our faith. And what that is, that's Satan. That is the war in the spiritual realm. Do you know Christ? Do you have him in your heart and life? Or do you have the assurance that if Jesus were to come today, you would go home to be with him? I hope you do. I trust that you invite Jesus into your heart. Let him come into your heart and, and uh, save you and give you that hope of life for eternity with him. Isn't that going to be wonderful? I hope that you'll do that because that is so important for us. Right now we're going to listen to a song that, uh, that uh, I think will be a blessing to you. And In fact, I told somebody the other day this song uh, really uh, blesses my heart. It's a song by the Master's Touch, and it talks about the blood, the blood, the saving blood. I want you to listen as they sing a song uh, recorded out in New Mexico among our Navajo people. The blood will never lose its power. It still saves today. Listen to the Master's Touch from Oklahoma City singing this song, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week at this very same time for more of Living Hope Today. May God bless you. One thing we know for sure that the blood of Jesus Christ will never ever lose its power. The blood that Jesus shed for me Way back on Calvary The blood that gives me strength From day to day It will never lose Do you believe that tonight? It's power For it reaches to the highest mountain Oh my 
my doubts and it calms all my fears and it dries all of my tears the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will never lose its mighty power for it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to Never, never, never lose 